The blackening is funny as shit. In your predicament, the black character is always the first to die. I will spare your lives if you sacrifice the person you deem the blackest. Guys, I can prove I'm not the blackest. Prove it! I thought black Twitter was a type of season. Directed by Tim Story, written by Dwayne Perkins and Tracy Oliver, this movie will have you on the floor rolling. It's a straight up murder mystery comedy that brings the laughs and suspense as well. The story is basically this. A group of college friends meet up after a long time on Juneteenth weekend in a cabin in the woods, red flag number one, to reunite, enjoy some games, get drunk, laugh, party, and just enjoy each other's company. Soon after they arrive, they find a game room with a mad sketchy board game called The Blackening. This joint is full of racist caricatures. After initially being skeptical, they decide to play the game, but once they start playing, they realize if they stop playing, bad things will happen. People are going to die. Pe Take a card. Will you die? People will not get hurt. So they decide to play the game anyway, and hilarity ensues. Now, like I said, the first red flag was a bunch of black folk going to a cabin in the woods. Let me tell you something. We don't do that. We ain't about that cabin in the woods life. Black spider senses turned up to a thousand. And the best thing about the way that these characters are written is that they're saying exactly what you're thinking while this is all going down. If you're black and you're familiar with the culture and you live with the culture for a long time, you know that there's certain things that we do and certain things that we don't do. Call the cops. <laughs> Not a monolith, so don't hit me with that. Now, all the characters written by Dwayne Parker and Tracy Oliver are unique and funny in their own way while being authentically themselves. If you've been black long enough, you've met these people. If you spend enough time around black people, you've met these people. Which is why I give this movie such high praise for its writing. And one of the best things about this movie is that the movie doesn't shy away. It's not looking to be accepted by majority culture. It's not looking to be comfortable. It's just funny. And it's the definition of for us bias. The dialogue never feels forced, never feels awkward. It feels real. These are real conversations. It's really well done. So to end this off, the comedy hits, suspense is felt. Your time is up. It's time to die. And the vibes are just right, especially for Juneteenth weekend. This is the perfect movie for Juneteenth weekend. Go out, barbecue, have fun with some friends, and go see the blackening. It deserves to be seen by you. All right, y'all, this is Ken Sparks from See For Yourself, and please go see this one for yourself. Yo, if you enjoyed this review and want to see other reviews from me, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, get more of this great content every single week. Oh.